2020 is weird. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. So we're still waiting on the presidential election. What a close race. Top one. Pretty close, isn't it? He's showing you his crane, or what is that, excavator? Yeah. Flynn has a new laugh. I might be able to get it on camera today, but his laugh today is <laughs> Is that funny, Flynn? Can you say <laughs> It's the weirdest laugh I've ever heard. He literally goes <laughs> Anyway, um, we're all just waiting on this presidential election to be over. It's very stressful and scary. So we're just waiting on that. I have a Skype call with Dr. Mama Jones today, who is a YouTuber. <laughs> well, there it is. That's the laugh. Oh my God, Flynn. <laughs> is your cute baby laugh over? Is that your official laugh now? <laughs> Oh God. Okay, we just got these in the mail. We're so excited. I used to put these in my There's that new laugh. So Flynn, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're gonna put it in the water, okay? Which color do you want? You wanna try the red one? Oops, here's the red one. You put it in the water. You wanna do more? Wait, watch, watch what happens. You want a green one? Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. <gasps> Look, he's gonna, oh, he's opening up. Oh, the green one's opening up. You knew which one to do, Flynn. The green one's popping out. What color are you gonna do now? Oh, the green one's working, Flynn. <gasps> oh my goodness, <laughs> it's a truck. <laughs> Can you see that it's a truck? <laughs> oh, I guess I kinda see it. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh like this, go. <laughs> no. <laughs> this new laugh is crazy. <laughs> is this new laugh here to stay? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> laugh like this, go. <laughs> Queens, I'm about to do um, my little video interview with Dr. Mama Jones. She did a video reviewing my birth. She's like a doctor in OBGYN, and I love talking about pregnancy and childbirth and motherhood because obviously it's a big part of my life, and I had a really horrible pregnancy, and I think more women should know that like pregnancy isn't always peaches and roses and cute like baby bump pictures like sometimes it's really hard and sometimes it's not sometimes it's great i was shamed a lot for talking about how bad my pregnancy is because there are a lot of women out there who cannot get pregnant and men who can't get pregnant it's awful women who want to get pregnant and they just can't and that must be so difficult and i think it was painful for them um to hear me say how miserable i was but i don't want anyone to mistake me saying i'm miserable as like being ungrateful i'm very grateful i was able to be pregnant and that my body was able to do that i'm very grateful for that but it doesn't mean that my pregnancy wasn't the most miserable almost 10 months of my life. It was really awful. I was grateful for it, but it was painful in every sense of the word, mentally, emotionally, physically. It was really, really hard. Anyway, she wants to ask me about it and talk to me about it, and she's a doctor, and so I'm excited to hear what she has to say. If you want to see that, I don't know when it'll be up on her channel, but eventually, so go subscribe to her. One hour later. That was fun. She was lovely. I just got to talk about my pregnancy. We talked for like an hour and honestly, I could have talked for 20 more. I know I talk about pregnancy a lot, not as much as I used to. I feel like I talked about it all the time, obviously during and right after, um, to the point where people are like, stop talking about it, we don't care. I love talking about it. I love talking about pregnancy and childbirth and postpartum and prepartum and just everything that a woman can go through and women and empowering women and men who experience all of those things. And I, love talking about it. 
I feel like insecure talking about it sometimes because I feel like people are like, we don't care, like stop talking about it. I feel like one day I should just like sit and do like a mukbang type like Q and A with you guys, just like a live stream or something. And I can just like not edit it and just like talk, like I feel like we could just talk for hours. I could talk for hours about it because I find it fascinating. Love hearing other women's stories and other women's experiences because they're all so different. It is not you get pregnant and you get some morning sickness and then you get a little bump and then you get a little comfy because you get so big and then you push out a baby. It's crazy how much goes into it and what happens to your body and how much you change emotionally, physically, mentally. It is wild and I just think it's fascinating and I think our bodies are so cool. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I could talk about it forever. I could literally talk about it forever. I love talking about it. I think women's bodies and trans men's bodies, anybody that can carry and produce a baby and there's a lot of women who can't too so I don't want to exclude them. I just think body, human bodies are cool. Like what we can do is cool. Like that you grow a human, that's wild. Anyway, I'm gonna go get some work done. But I love you guys, and I'll see you all a bit later. My son has gone insane today. He is so funny. He's the biggest personality he's ever had in his whole life today. Like he is so funny. He's saying catch. Are you playing catch? He's playing catch with Coco right now. But today, like, first of all, you guys saw his new laugh, which was hilarious. But he also, like, rolled his eyes at us earlier. He's like, and he went, Ugh. like that, like, fully rolled his eyes. And he just stole the camera for me and is now giving you a tour. Show them your okay. squirrel. Who's that? You giving it a cuddle? But all day today he's been like so funny and like talking like crazy and laughing and saying new words and new phrases and new facial expressions. I don't know what happened. He just woke up and is like has a whole new personality and it is cracking me up. He is nuts so today. It's so funny. Catch? Are you playing catch? Can you play catch with me? Catch. Oh, thank you. Catch. 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 <laughs> Can you show them your magic trick? No, no. Catch. Whoa. Ta-da. Can you say ta-da? Catch. <laughs> Good catch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So I decided to try to film a video with Flynn since he was in such a hilarious mood just to see what would happen. And it ended up being one of the funniest videos I think I've ever done. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. You might be able to guess what it was because my face looks insane right now. I feel like I look really, my makeup looks, it looks like I have a beard. I don't know. Um, it was a hilarious disaster. So it was really funny. I can't wait for you guys to see that. Later. Okay, we are happy. This Mott apple juice or Martinelli's apple juice. It's not the plastic one like TikTok. On TikTok, if you get the plastic one, it sounds like you're biting it in an apple, apple if you bite it. Africa. Apple juice. Ah. He basically only drinks water. He's had juice before, maybe twice. So this is very exciting for him, but now he's just licking the straw. <laughs> Should I try it? Mmm. <gasps> Good. I think that's him pretending to drink it, like licking the straw. Anyway, he was taking sips and going, mmm, good. <laughs> You're on another level today, Flynn. You are on another level. What is happening? You are so weird. Why are you being so weird? <laughs> anyway, um, he really likes it. I think this is maybe his third time having juice. And he doesn't really like juice normally. The other couple times I've given him juice, he kind of like, kind of liked it and wasn't really that interested. So he just, he loves water. But he was obsessed with this, as you can tell, half of it's gone. And now he's just over it. Y'all done? I don't know what's going on with him today. Please ignore the news on in the background. It's just people mumbling jargon and repeating the same numbers over and over and again. We still don't have a president. Um, I mean, we have a president currently, but we have not chosen the new president yet. All right, Flynn, let's figure out dinner. Sound good? 
What should we do for dinner? Oh, banana. Whoa, relax. This is a purple nana. You want the purple nana? Yeah. Okay, here you go. Okay, let's figure out dinner. I'm gonna get creative, guys. I asked Flynn what he wanted for dinner. Flynn, what do you want for dinner? Oh, nana. Nana, okay. When I asked him earlier what he wanted for dinner, he said a bulldozer. So I'm gonna try to make that happen. We'll see. if he likes it. Let's see if you can tell what it even is. Flynn, look what mama has. What's that? A bulldozer. You asked for a bulldozer for dinner and I got you a bulldozer. What do you think? It's a bulldozer. It's a bulldozer. Yeah, do you want a fork and a spoon? Here's your fork. You need some nana. Need a spoon. Need a spoon. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know if we should eat. You can eat it. Do you want to eat it? Mmm. Oh, good. Yeah, that's really good. Help yourself. Oi, hello everybody. Flynn is now asleep. We just ordered some Chinese food and we filmed an audition for Eric. Eric constantly has like self tapes and stuff. <laughs> the films, we just did that. And he's editing it. Yeah, he still is doing that other acting job that he had from like a week or two ago that I was talking about. But he has like a couple weeks off and then he goes back to work filming on set again. Just crazy. I feel like I should do a whole video on like how crazy it is to be on set for a show during COVID because like it's really crazy. The, just taking a lot of precautions. We still have not decided on a president. I don't know why I'm telling you this as though like I am the news source because you guys all would know that information. I think, ah, I think I just heard the Chinese food. No, I did not. I just wanna know. I just wanna know who's president. I want them to count all the votes. I don't want them to stop counting votes. I want them to count every single vote because every single American's vote counts. Every single person's voice should be heard. Every single person's vote should count. Um, I'm not saying like, I wish they would just stop counting. I, I think they should please count all the votes. I just, I'm so impatient. I just want to know what's going to happen. It's such a close race. It's so wild. I just want to know what's going on. Anyway, Flynn was a freaking blast today. I don't know what got into that kid today, but he was so freaking funny. He had so many new facial expressions and words and phrases and just like, he was making us laugh so hard all day. Like, I don't know what, I mean, we woke up and he was laughing like that. And I was like, what is going Going on and then the rest of the day just like a hilarious weirdo he was so funny so it's fun watching him grow and each day like noticing big changes in his personality and seeing him turn into whoever he's gonna be he's so much fun like oh my gosh he's just the freaking best it's really fun anyway I'm gonna go watch TikToks see you guys later I am shook it and amazed and so appreciative right now. So we ordered Chinese food and one of my favorite things to order from Chinese food places is veggie egg rolls. I love vegetable egg rolls, love them. But since the pandemic, I have not had a good vegetable egg roll. Not a big problem, it's not a big deal. It's just like a little annoyance in life. It's not something I think about. I only think about it when I bite into it and go, huh, this is soggy. The reason they're always soggy is because they come in styrofoam boxes and it's closed and the heat from the egg rolls or from whatever food that's supposed to be crispy the heat from it comes up and fills the styrofoam or plastic box with all this moisture, all the steam. And then the steam settles into the food and it gets soggy. And I'm always so frustrated because I want like crunchy, warm food and it's always soggy no matter how fast it gets here. They poked holes in the top. Guys, they're warm and... Crunchy! Oh, really hot. Why have I not thought of this? Why does not everyone do this? Now I'm obsessed with this Chinese restaurant that I've never been to, but now it's like, I just love them. I wanna go give them a hug. I won't because of Corona, but I wanna just go give them a hug and say thank you. You are one of the food highlights of 2020 for me because I'm so sick of ordering food and getting it cold and soggy. And some nights I just don't wanna cook. I'm, I love to cook, but some nights I'm not in the mood. I'm too tired, too stressed. And so then I order gross soggy food that I don't like. And this is 
It's not even the best egg roll I've ever had. It's just warm and crunchy. Huh. Let's see what else we got in here. And now I'm gonna do a haul. We got some honey walnut shrimp, which is really good. I think this is rice, obviously, but it's in like a little bag. Chow mein, vegetable chow mein. I really like vegetable chow mein. I actually don't really love meat. I think I could easily become a vegetarian because like if I have the choice of making something vegetarian, I always will. And here is some orange chicken. My husband loves me, all right. And then we have uh, fried rice, veggie fried rice. Oh man, I am just so excited about these egg rolls, guys. I could just I could talk about this all day. I'm gonna eat my food. Y'all, we still have not picked a pretzel tent. Come on! Nevada, Georgia, Pennsylvania. What are y'all doing, honey? Count the ballots. I'm not gonna have any skin left. I have dermatillomania. I'm gonna rip it all off, girl. Hmm. Very stressful. I just wanna know. I just want, like, ugh. It's like I can't think about anything else. It's driving me crazy. But anyway. <laughs> I had all these videos planned for this week, but it feels really inappropriate to post random videos that are like, my shower routine, hee <laughs> tee hee hee. When we're in the middle of like, just one of the biggest elections of our all time. And you know, it just feels like inappropriate to post anything. I'm just like sad. And I don't want to just post like, I'm sad, you know, and I don't want to post like a funny meme about the election. And I don't want to post like an aggressive, like, thing one way or the other because the voting is done, the votes are in, now we just have to wait until all the votes are counted. I don't know, I don't know what to say or post on social media, I don't know how to like act, I'm just kind of like waiting. So if you follow me on social media and you're like, where has she been? This is where you'll find me. This is the place I feel most comfortable, is on my vlog channel, this is where I feel like I can just be myself and talk and like, I don't know, I feel the most comfortable here. But every other social media platform, I'm like, I haven't posted any TikToks or Instagram, anything or Twitter, it's like everything feels inappropriate to post. So I don't know what to say. Anyway, I think we might know by tomorrow, but we also might not. I have no, oh, I have therapy tomorrow. That's a good day for therapy. I love you guys. Thanks for watching and sticking with me and always being so kind and wonderful. I'm going to import this footage and I'm gonna try to get some rest. Uh, I've got a lot of planning to do tomorrow because the day after tomorrow is my niece Bailey's birthday and she's celebrating at my house. And usually I like plan birthday parties for like weeks and this one, the election's just kind of taken over so I haven't done much planning. So I'm a little bit like just now realizing how stressed I am about that. But that's good, it gives me a distraction tomorrow. So anyway, I love you guys. I hope you're all staying safe and sane and happy and spreading happiness and kindness where you can. And I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Right before you run.